guys, it's Natalie Ewing here, and I'm so excited because I'm collaborating with my amazing friends at Chameleon Cold Brew. So this brand is so unique and so special to me. I found it on my own um, because I was dealing with a lot of stomach issues and I was having trouble drinking coffee because of its high acidic levels. So the amazing things about cold brew is it's low in acidity and it doesn't crush your stomach. So that's why I'm a huge fan of this brand and that's why this is all happening, right? So I wanna give you guys three different ways that you guys can drink cold brew. Cold brew is just not for the summer hot months. You can drink it hot as well. So I'm gonna give you three amazing ways that you guys can tee up your cold brew and use this year round. So with that being said, let's get started. Um, the first way that I like to drink my cold brew in the um, winter months is honestly half hot water and half cold brew. So taking hot water, warming up on your stove top and then taking your amazing mug of choice and putting half hot water and simple as that. I love the black coffee one. Um, this is probably my favorite flavor of that they have and just teeing up half cold brew. So again, it's not just for those hot days. You can drink this year round um, and you have an amazing hot drink that you can drink when you're skiing, you're outside, you're snowshoeing, all that fun stuff. So amazing, yes. <laughs> Moving on, number two um, is something I love almond milk, I love coconut milk. I am lactose intolerant, so for those of you guys who don't drink milk. Um, you can do steam milk, but I prefer coconut milk and almond milk. So you're gonna take a cup of almond milk or coconut milk and you're going to steam it. Here I go, I love this part. You turn on your little steamer and you get it started here. Um, here we go, it's warming up. All right guys, so you're gonna steam your almond milk, coconut milk, look at that amazing just steam frothing up. So it's gonna make your drink, again, your cold brew can be drank hot. Tea it up. And then I like to drink mine also in mason jars. I think it's really fun and, and beautiful at the same time. So I like to take, again, my cold brew and you're gonna mix half of it, just like that. And then you're gonna take your steamed almond or coconut milk, your choice, or regular milk for those of you guys who can drink milk. I'm just gonna pour it in like that. And voila. And one thing that I love to do is take a dash of cinnamon. Cinnamon's so good for your health too. And splash it in your um, hot steamed coconut milk, almond milk, cold brew, and you're good. Again, another amazing way to drink cold brew, hot. And then lastly, um, so I love to Nordic ski and I love to be outside during the winter months and sometimes when you're using a lot of energy and you're dripping in sweat because it's a really anaerobic workout, I still like to drink cold brew cold. So here's another way you can do that. Again, I love these mason jars, easy, fun way, easy to clean as well. Um, you're going to take your cold brew and you're going to get an ice um, tray just like this, dump the cold brew in it and freeze your ice. So you're getting more caffeine, hello, so you can just go slay the rest of the day and then you're going to fill it up with uh, the cold brew. So taking the, um, the ice cubes, you're just going to place them right in the, in the mason jar. Easy, one, two, three. And then honestly, you're just gonna pour over. So you're gonna take that cold brew and pour over the ice. And voila, you're done. So I hope that gives you guys just a little insight on cold brew and all of its amazing benefits and gives you guys three different ways you can drink cold brew this winter season. The holidays are coming up and um, I know you might want warm, snuggly drinks and this drink is just not for those hot summer months. You can make it in so many different ways. So I'm Natalie Euling and I'm here with Chameleon Coffee. Make sure to check out their website, chameleoncoldbrew.com and also my stuff at Natalie Euling and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.